okay so the bubble balancer the only way is gonna work I tried everything on YouTube and it's all crap okay the bearing ball the crystal ball the sharpen the pin and everything it won't work the only thing that will work I want to show you it's not that hard to do but it has to be precise okay so let me show you in a minute okay. and so with what I did you see it's very freely now on balance like that anytime very long time I mean so uh, and it's replaceable if your pin or the thing I did get uh, used you can replace it easily so let, let's see the next step okay so the pin it depends on the model you have but I don't know if you can see there Okay, there's the pin. You're gonna have to cut just a little bit around it, so that's gonna be free. That's all you gotta do for that part of the model. Okay, you just cut the top here. That's a silicone because the first try I did was with the with uh, the plate. I'm gonna show you. Just wait a sec. So the first thing I did try it was a socket on top. Uh, the magnet, it's like a hook that goes there and you put it like that. Okay. And I put the, this thing in the in this, but it won't work never because it doesn't go far enough inside so the tire will all will always fall off it has to go uh, much further and it won't work it's a good principle because it's hard and hard but you will never be able to balance your tire with this so the other thing I did is there's a bolt inside okay with a pilot hole I don't know if you can see it that pilot hole has to be in the center and uh, <clears throat> you drill from the top I'm gonna take out the little bubble there just wait a second so you can be very precise with it it's easy you just drill from the top here all the way any size you want you can take the size of, of a boat you want so there's no no problems to start small and then go bigger uh, as you want and then you let a little divot there so you can put back the, <clears throat> the spring in there and you put your bubble back so the bolt you just you just can glue it from under <clears throat> and you can replace it easily if it get the if you took a boat that was too soft so you try to take a boat that's uh, hardening so you won't get any issues and it worked the first try so <clears throat> when you bought you bought this thing new it's gonna work for the first two tires <clears throat> because the issue is this thing it's like aluminum I don't know magnesium it's too soft so you have to put something hardened inside and the ball like I said <clears throat> the bearing there You put it inside here I try it but it's too far up and you will never be able to stabilize stabilize the the wheel it has to go like at the end so maybe if you machine this you drill it almost to the top maybe it's gonna work or get a smaller bearing but for me it was too much so the easiest way is that way with the boat inside Sorry for the bad. Uh, so that's the only only way it's gonna work. Some people try to drill 
inside of there to uh, sharpen the pin but uh, it won't work so I hope that will help you a little bit <clears throat> try it it's the very only way that's gonna work and it's precise so thanks for watching bye bye